They have half a billion global streams, six platinum singles in Canada alone, and are the highest selling Canadian band in country music. And now, High Valley is coming to a stage near you on their small town something tour. Joining me this morning is lead singer Brad Rumpel. Great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. So what inspired you with this latest EP, Small Town Something? I think the small towns really inspired me. We cheated, you know, we, we go to Toronto, we go to Vancouver, a couple cities on this tour, but there's a lot of small towns, Meaford, Chatham. So country music has always been about it's kind of that lifestyle, so it's cool for us to get off the beaten path a little bit and go visit some of them. There's something so special about a small town. You walk in, my husband grew up in a real small town in northern yeah. Ontario, and you drive in and everybody knows that you're there and you see yeah. people waving and Nana's calling know. already. You better knows. wave, yeah. If you don't oh, yeah. wave, it's like big talk at, you know, dinner that night that oh, somebody yeah. didn't, yeah. You've got so many great tunes on this album. I wanted to ask specifically about one called Buy a Boy at Baseball. Take a listen. Five boy and baseball, get him outside, get his hands dirty, take a little time, give a boy and Bible. Why do you love this song so much? You're going to make me miss my kids. Uh, I just broke a record. I haven't seen him in 20 days, so I, that's the longest ever. And that's me in, in my yard with my 12-year-old. And um, Yeah, my boys play baseball, basketball, and football. They're 12 and 15, and... Um, I kind of been on this rant about buying kids less cell phones and less iPads and buying them baseballs and hockey sticks instead. And I just, I guess we grew up that way, going outside, playing with our friends. And that's kind of what the song is about. Like, maybe the world would be a slightly better place if we if we did that again. What are your boys' names? Drew and Cash. Drew's 15 and Cash is 12. He's got a good swing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you better have it. It's the most expensive sport in the world. I always tell my wife we could either have like a private island or have our kids in youth sports. So I, we chose I youth high sports. five to that. We're baseball hockey over here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get you. Yeah. Um, I love all of your social media stuff, but there's this video where you brought a young fan on stage to sing. Take a look at this. Gosh, my face hurts smiling watching yeah. this. What do you think when you see something like this? It's a bit of a gamble, and I do this, you know, even the band is like, how do you know that kid could sing? I was like, ah, I just hoped he could. He had a sign that said, please let me, you know, so you bring these people up on stage, and it's just exciting. We, we get to hear ourselves sing every single night. The crowd loves it. We love it. If, if people are going to go through all the work of making these signs and telling us what their favorite song is and stuff, I just... Our show has always been all about family, so it's cool anytime we can incorporate people who bring their families to the show. There's such a special moment at concerts when you go as a fan and then everybody starts singing and yeah. the singer who you're there to see pauses for a second and the whole crowd is just screaming out the lyrics. I know what that's like in the audience. What's that like for you on stage? It does not get old. We've got this song, Make You Mine, where we kind of have a contest every night to see which town can sing it the loudest and it's... <laughs> Uh, so I'm not planning on quitting that part of the show anytime soon because it's just my favorite. It really is. It's, it's when you grow up writing songs and wanting to do country music, th that's your dream, right? Of one day saying, what if people actually knew the words to something that I created? And um, I, I wrote Make You Mine after watching Road to Avonlea, believe it or not. No if you remember way. That show. Yeah. That we were watching a YouTube clip of a, like a barn dance of Gus Pike and Felicity King and said, if this was happening modern day, what would the soundtrack be? That's how we wrote Make You Mine and now people scream it all over the place. And, and I just think it's amazing. Well, it's a great track. I think it's amazing as well. Brad, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. The Small Town Something Tour is taking to the stage right across Canada. You can get your tickets now. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.